After celebrating its first year, James Webb Telescope still continues to send incredible pictures. Some of them depict the very first galaxies and black holes to form after the Big Bang because they are so far away and hence so old. And now James Webb pierced through a dense nebula and spotted newly forming binary stars and captured fascinating photos of it. In this video, we'll provide you the most recent information about the new discovery done by the James Webb Telescope. In the vast expanse of space, mysteries abound, hidden amidst the glimmering stars and cosmic wonders. However, humanity's insatiable curiosity, backed by cutting-edge technology, has led to remarkable revelations that push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. One such epic-making discovery has been made possible by the awe-inspiring James Webb Space Telescope, an interstellar revelation that promises to captivate scientists and stargazers alike. As the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, the James Webb Telescope was designed to be humanity's most advanced observatory, equipped with a suite of highly sensitive instruments to study distant celestial objects with unparalleled precision. Following years of meticulous planning, engineering, and anticipation, the James Webb Space Telescope finally embarked on its groundbreaking journey, soaring through space to explore the cosmos like never before. James Webb Space Telescope recently examined the Urbigero 4647 system and offered us a pretty mind-bending new photos of it. It's a nebula that is located roughly 1,470 light-years from Earth and contains a pair of binary stars that are still developing. This image normally appears in visible light as a black cloud with a bright light shining from it. However, we can see a lot more detail in the James Webb Telescope picture. As night descends, a few famous binary star systems are visible. The Scorpion's Heart, Antares. Blue-White Spisa is almost the same height. In addition, Polaris, the pole star, is positioned directly north, as it is throughout the year. Numerous additional stars that can be seen with the naked eye are binaries as well. They are made up of two stars that orbit one another and are connected by gravitational attraction. Binaries are actually extremely prevalent, but the precise frequency is unknown to astronomers. According to one study, roughly half of stars are believed to be in binary systems. However, others have calculated higher figures. Most likely, the collapse of enormous gas and dust clouds gives birth to binaries in the same way that single stars do as newborn stars. But as it becomes particularly compact, the cloud fragments. Usually, three, four, or even more stars are produced as a result. Fewer stars with masses similar to the sun's have. They also occur least frequently among red dwarfs, the smallest and weakest stars. We don't know how likely it is for them to belong to binaries because they are so little and difficult to analyze. However, the Milky Way galaxy is primarily composed of red dwarf stars. Therefore, focusing on that possibility will help us gain a better understanding of the number of companion stars and the number of stars that travel alone through the galaxy. The orange-white blob in the nebula's center is where the young binary stars are visible in the James Webb Telescope photograph. That smaller cloud of gas and dust was so thick that James Webb Telescope could not see through it. In actuality, it's still feeding the rising stars. Up till the birth cloud is depleted, they gain bulk. Across millions of light years, the binary stars each release superheated jets of material. They are made of material that was shaped into two orange-colored lobes. In addition to devouring the gas in the birth cloud, these young double stars also release gas and dust into space. The material lobes were constructed in this way. Their existence alters how the jets are shaped. The jets in the nebula contact with its molecules as it is being pushed by material, sparking both of them. Jets play a significant role in the formation of stars. They control how much mass the newborn stars can accumulate. The expelled stuff collides with the remainder of the nebula. With all these particulars, this James Webb Telescope image provides one of the most in-depth views of a star birth nursery's activity to date.
These starburst locations can be found all around the galaxy, including the HH4647 system. They all share similar characteristics, including blazing clouds of gas and dust connected to young stars that fire outward jets of matter. They have been well known to astronomers for more than a century, but it wasn't until though that astronomers began to link them to the formation of stars. They were first investigated and discussed as potential locations for star formation by George Herbig and Guillermo Harrow at that time. HH objects are frequently found near dark clouds, referred to as Bach globules, and are typically connected with so-called H2 areas. More than a thousand of them are currently known, and they provide an opportunity to study star formation from its earliest stages. Typically, as stars develop, a cloud of material collapses and finally forms stellar cores, or protostars. The protostars continue to accrete matter, which they then expel in bipolar jets that travel parallel to their axis of revolution. The bright flares that distinguish HH objects are produced when the jets hit with the star's surrounding material. The James Webb Telescope image captures a single moment in the protracted process of new star creation. Once HH4647 has amassed sufficient material, the jets will finally cease to exist. It's a fascinating development that the majority of the stars that are associated with HH objects will be binary stars or a component of multiple star systems. This raises the question of the origin of the jets that fly away from the stars. The existence and growth of HH systems provides exciting new information on the process of star formation as a whole because many of the galaxy's stars are born in these many systems. Studying these systems in infrared light will completely alter our understanding of the creation and evolution of stars. The Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Telescope are providing incredibly detailed views of the jets and clouds around the newly formed stars in these systems. According to the U.S. Space Agency, infrared light, which is electromagnetic radiation emitted during heat transfer, was used exclusively to capture the complete image. After the black and white photograph was first sent to NASA scientists, colors were applied to it in order to enhance the frame and gather more scientific information. Because of its remote Earth orbit, the Webb telescope has an unequaled perspective of the cosmos. I hope you liked watching this video. For more fascinating space-related content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I appreciate your support as always, and I'll see you in the next video.